It's all about uh, what you want, man. Yeah. You know? I think you're blessing a lot of people. I mean, it's like, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, your Instagram and, and whatever. So, um, for sure, uh, man. There's a lot, man. I get people reach out to me all the time, you know? Yeah. And I really hasn't, haven't even got started. It's Monday morning. <clears throat> I am the first one to the office. Got here at 7.30. I couldn't work out this morning because my trainer is getting, coming back from Mexico. Yeah, they went on vacation last week, last Thursday, I think. They left Wednesday night. They're coming back today. So I'll be back in the gym tomorrow. So I got to come to the office a little earlier today, get in here and get some stuff done. But uh, I'm going after eight new listings this week. Um, I just made a list and I'm about to follow up with all of those sellers and see where we are in the process and take some notes there. Um, then I've got a couple appointments to look at some properties and I'm just super excited right now. Hey man, what'd you call me? Yeah, what did you call me? No, I said, no, I said, what did you call me just now? Oh, sunshine, sunshine. I thought you yeah. called me Sun Joy. I was like, what kind of Japanese stuff are you <laughs> talking about today? Yeah, I'm not into Japanese stuff. Hey, uh, uh, that cotton bayou, that little weird house? Yeah, uh huh. What's the deal on that? Here's, uh, here's the buyer calling me. I'll call you back. Yeah, thanks. All right. Good morning. I'm doing just fine. Morning. What's up? I'm oh, just getting started here. Well, not really getting started, but I've been going a couple hours. How are you today? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been at it for a good hour and a half. I sit here and I have so many things going on, you know, and it's like where to start. And it's like just, <laughs> no it's like just pick something out and go though. You know what I'm saying? Sitting yeah. here looking at it, it's not gonna do anything. What do you tell people in a listing appointment when their price that they think their property is worth is outrageous? Is I point, I just point to the, I just point to the comps and I say this is, I, I know that's what you're thinking, but this is the market right here, yeah. and this is just what the market will bear. All right, man, that's, that's where I'm at. I don't have any other questions for you. All right. So. Well, cool, brother. Stay at it, and um, let me know if you need some. Okay, thanks for Later, buddy. TV. Yep. Oh, check this sucker out. Look at this bad boy. Is this what you needed your card for? Hmm? Is this what you needed your card for? What card? Best Buy. Uh, well... Carlin wanted to, uh... So I can take a video? What stand? The stand where you put the... the... You want this? Will that work? Yeah, it's, it's not for a phone. No, I got the stand out. right here. You want, which one you want? Yeah, this will Yeah, yeah, be perfect, thank you. Yeah. Is that gonna be for your listings? No. Yeah. Daily grind and stuff. Mm -hmm. See, Blake's not here yes. for every little thing. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I'm gonna start videoing. Higher quality. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start, um like video and things like I signed up five new coaching students Friday mm -hmm. and I called them all you know mm -hmm. call them as soon as they sign up and like say thanks and get them started and stuff mm -hmm. and I had two like incredible motivational conversations like what their story was and what mm -hmm. I was telling them it's just you awesome to capture it yeah. yeah it's like man you know I wish I would have had that on tape boom that's the whole thing girl Incredible morning, now I'm in my truck. Fixing to go eat some lunch, so I'll probably uh, just pick up something from Publix and then go check on the dogs and get on back to the office.
Okay, so real quick, I'm in the Publix parking lot, fixing to go in and get a little bite to eat, but I wanted to talk real quick about should you buy leads, should you not buy leads? Because, you know, as a new agent or if you're trying to experiment, sure, you want to you want to try it out and see what comes out of it, you know? Will you get your investment back? Will you get five-fold back? And here's the way I think about it. You want to be most efficient, right, with whatever you do. Um, however you're structured. If you're structured as a team, if you're structured as a single agent, whatever the case may be, you want to be most efficient. So internet leads take a lot of time. You have to really work on them. You have to really work with them. You have to really nurture them. And a lot of times you have to nurture them long term. Um, so they take a lot of time. And, you know, efficiency is all about time and, you know, dollars per hour, um, you know, what prospects make you the most amount of money in the least amount of time. So I think a couple of things. I think one, if you have people underneath you, if you're a team and you have people that want to take on that load of working those Internet leads and you have a structure worked out, I think that that works. I think you can buy leads. I think if you have somebody who's really good at converting those leads short and long term, I think buying the leads are, is a great little side business um, per se for you. Um, you purchase the leads, you give them to your team member who is really good at, at handling them, and then boom, you get ROI. But if you're a single agent, I think the exact opposite. You don't have time to chase these different buyers around and nurture them long term. Um, they're not the most effective. They're not the highest quality. So I think it depends on where you want to be long term and how you think this whole thing is going to play out. I think that the Internet is a great place to start the conversation. Um, you know, me as a single agent, I don't buy leads. There's no need for me to. There's plenty, there's an unlimited amount of the highest quality prospects in my market um, right at my fingertips. So why would I go after the lowest quality prospects? And furthermore, why would I pay for them? So I think it works both ways. You just have to decide where you're going to be. I'll tell you one thing that I do believe pretty strongly is that the buyer leads are going to dry up when the market crashes. And I don't think the market's going to crash anytime soon. You know, I think we have a long time, you know, five years, 10 years, whatever the case may be. But it could happen at any moment. And myself, I don't want to be in a position where the way that I do business could dry up any moment. Right? I want to be able to withstand a market crash. I want to be ready and prepared at all times for anything at all in my business. So that's my two cents on buying leads. Um, just reach out if you have any questions about it. You know how I do it, what I do, what I think about this, what I think about that, and I'll be glad to get with you. What's up guys, Ricky here, I'm on my way to an inspection, got about a 20 minute ride here so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about quality versus quantity, because this is something that I feel really strongly about and I feel like can really help you guys, you can really benefit from what I'm saying here. So the problem is, is that most agents try to put too much quality into their clients, right? Quality is needed, like you have to have quality. Quality is very important. Quality, I mean, that's how you build relationships, is giving people quality service, right? But here's where the problem is. If you only have a couple of clients, there's got to be a line that you draw somewhere 
in servicing those clients and trying to produce a quantity of new clients. Hey, check it. Uh, put the place up.